Internally, it'll heal a stomach ulcer because what the cane does, it causes a constriction of any open blood vessels. So just for a moment, let's look at externally. If you have a cut, cut, you pour cayenne pepper into it and it'll stop the bleeding. Cayenne pepper is very safe to use, tastes very good. Uh, one of the molecules that is found in cayenne pepper called capsaicin is placed in topical medication to use to combat pain. However, some of the things that were mentioned in this video, they're not true. Do not place cayenne pepper on any open wound. It can introduce bacteria into the wound, resulting in an infection. You can also use it internally if someone has a heart attack. Hmm? No need for aspirin. Number two, if you are on aspirin, my advice to you is not to come off of aspirin to replace it with cayenne pepper. There's no evidence to support some of her claims that it thins the blood. Internally, it'll heal a stomach ulcer because what the cayenne does, it causes a constriction of any open blood vessels. Number three, if you have acid reflux or peptic ulcers, there's no evidence in humans to support that cayenne pepper stops bleeding ulcers at the base of the stomach. Effects. Now, if someone is on warfarin or aspirin and they're a little concerned, I would suggest start taking a quarter of a teaspoon three times a day. And most people, if they're on warfarin, they have to be tested yeah, every few weeks or every month. And the doctor will say, your blood's getting so thin, we can reduce your medication. If you are on warfarin and you take cayenne pepper along with your warfarin, you need to tell your doctor because there's no evidence to support that cayenne pepper will help to thin the blood. And here's my question to you. In medicine, I cannot think of a compound that stops bleeding, but also helps to thin the blood. She said that it stops bleeding at the base of ulcers in the stomach, but it also can thin the blood when used along with warfarin. So the compound has two different functions. You have to take some of the things that are, are said in these videos with a grain of salt. The information dispensed is misinformation.